Hello everyone, my name is Arditha, and today I'm going to be introducing you to my Smite config editor. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into it. Now of course, the first thing we need to do is actually obtain the program, and you can do that by clicking the download link in the description, and it will take you to this page here. Simply press download and direct download, and you will see your file at the bottom. Now it's telling me that the program isn't commonly downloaded and that's purely because I've only just uploaded it. So I'm going to press keep and if we head into our documents, we will see the program in our downloads folder. In order for it to work, it does need to be within the smite config folder. So we will do that now by cutting the program, heading to documents, my games, smite, battle game and config. This is where we'll paste the program and we will be good to go, but I'm going to send a link to my desktop just to make accessing the program even easier. So now if we run it, we will be greeted with our config editor. This is where the magic happens and I will guide you through what most of this does and I will show you how to either optimize the game or make it look better. So the first thing we will tackle will be the frame rate options and as you can see the first two options in the program do revolve around frame rate with the first one being our minimum desired frame rate. And as it says in the name it simply tells the game what FPS it should aim to achieve. I've seen the game default to something around 20 and also at different times it defaulted to something around 40. We want 60, 60 FPS is what you should be looking for at all times, so you write 60 and you set it. And then the next one will of course be the maximum frame rate. With the VSync disabled, your game will cap at about 150 FPS. If you would like to get a higher frame rate for whatever reason, you can obviously set it to something higher, or if you would like to cap it at 60 FPS but have VSync disabled, you can also do that. A benefit of having VSync disabled is that it gives you a higher frame rate, but if you don't want to get anything above 60 for the sake of you know overheating or anything like that, then you can disable VSync but also cap it out at 60, which means you will only get 60 FPS but VSync will still be disabled. I'm actually going to set it to 100 because I want a faster response time and for some reason with Smite, if you only have it capped to 60 FPS there is actually sort of an input delay even though my monitor only is 60 Hz. So that's also something else to keep in mind if you do want an edge over your opponents, having a higher frame rate will actually help that for some reason. So next comes the particle options and as you can see here we have two options dedicated to particles, one being particle size and the other one being the amount of memory dedicated to particles. For particle size the program defaults to 128, do keep in mind that that is optimized for a higher frame rate. At maximum settings the game sets the particle size to around 1000, so if you're looking to make the particles look nicer. I would suggest setting it to around something like 2048 or even higher if you want to, but I would suggest 2048 if you're making the game look nicer. If you want a higher frame rate then I would just suggest setting it at what the program defaults to. And with the maximum particle memory once again, this is defaulted to something that will give you a higher frame rate, so if you want your game to look nicer I would just also suggest setting that to 2048 because if you want it to look nicer, you want to have more memory dedicated to it so it can keep all of these different particles in at the same time. But once again, if you want a higher frame rate, then just set it to what it defaults to or something even lower. Lower numbers equal higher frame rate apart from one or two options here. So if you are just looking to get the highest amount of frames as possible, you could just go through and press set because I've already optimized the game fairly well with these options here but if you want to put them even lower you can do so or if you want to make the game look nicer you can just set higher numbers. So next comes decal culling and what culling is is when parts of the map or just the game in general are no longer rendered so that it gives you a higher frame rate and the game is obviously less harder to run. So having a higher scale of decal culling means more things will be culled out giving you a higher frame rate. Setting it lower will of course mean things are culled out less and you should have a nicer looking game. Although Smite's culling is very good and I don't seem to notice anything being culled out. So if you want a higher frame rate, set that to a higher number like 0.9. You could even go for 1 if you wanted but I'll just go 0.9 for the sake of being simple. And Skeletal Mesh LED Bias is when objects that are 
well actually character models are basically culled out or distorted so if you have a higher LOD bias it means that the further away a character model is the less polygons it's going to have and that's not the most accurate way of putting it but it's a fairly simple way of putting it so basically it makes them look worse the further they are and with the, with a higher number it means things will look even worse um, I, th I think two is the maximum you can apply but if you want to go lower you can go for one so I will set two and obviously a higher number is a higher frame rate particle LOD bias it's the same thing but for particles I will set that to 10 just because a higher number means lower polygons effectively and it means a higher frame rate detail is the level of detail this goes from 0 to 4 um, I'm going to set that to 0 for the sake of getting a higher frame rate and the maximum draw distance this is also a scale much like the decal culling so if you want to see further you can set that you know to a higher number or if you want to see a little bit closer then you can set that to a lower number like 0.5 for instance so lower numbers equal higher frame rate for the maximum draw distance for the shadow filter quality I just set that to minus one I'm not entirely sure how that works it seems to function with both negative and positive numbers and I don't really know which one is a better quality because it doesn't seem to change anything so from what I've been told minus one is the way to go for that Shadow resolution is basically the resolution of shadow textures. A lower number is going to be a higher frame rate, a higher number is going to be a nicer looking game. If you're going for a higher frame rate, I would suggest 128. And the same thing goes for dominant shadow resolution, as you just want a lower quality shadow for a higher uh, frame rate. Perf scaling bias, just set that to 0.2. Once again, it's something that I can't really notice in game, so I can't entirely tell what the difference is or what it does but apparently this is the sweet spot so I'm gonna set that to 0.2 static mesh LOD bias once again it's an LOD bias so it's basically how you know how good things look from afar apparently one is a sweet spot for this so we will go for that tree LOD bias once again LOD bias but this time it's for trees trees don't impact the game too much so we will use that there Shadow texels per pixel. Basically, we're just going to set this to zero as we don't really care about those. Upscaling percentage. This is actually something that I put in this program before High Res added it into the game officially. And since I've made this, they have actually added this in the game. Um, however, High Res have capped it between 50% to 200%. With this, we can go from anything to 1% all the way up to 999% with 1% being an atrocious looking game but a very high frame rate and 999 being an amazing looking game but a very low frame rate. I would just suggest 200 because that's really the best you're going to be able to notice on a 1080p monitor. Maybe if you're on 4K you can try upscaling it even further but I would suggest just 200 if you're wanting the game to look nice. If you're wanting a higher frame rate, I would just leave it at 100. And if you can't get a good frame rate after doing everything else, then change this as a last resort. Because if you change it to 75%, you will notice a very big degradation in your game's quality. It will look very pixelated. And I would. I think the performance to the quality just isn't worth using upscaling for your go-to thing. I would suggest saving it after you've done everything else. So upscaling once again, this basically just says should we use this percentage yes or no. I just leave it on disabled for now unless you want it to look nicer. So basically just should we use this yes or no? No static decals so basically from here on everything is enable or disable for a higher frame rate disable pretty much everything for a nicer looking game enable everything and I would just disable everything for the sake of a higher frame rate so all of this stuff is now being disabled from the game which should give you a higher frame rate as it's less graphical options that are being applied to the game 
but you never really know if your PC is going to get a big benefit from this or not. Reduce particles is something that you cannot enable or disable. Once you apply it, you will have to change your particle options in game if you want to get them higher or lower. So this is strictly for getting a higher frame rate. So if you press apply, your particles in game will be reduced, which should help you get a higher frame rate. So the main things that will help you getting either a nicer looking game or a higher frame rate will be upscaling and the maximum frame rate. Once again, always have your minimum desired frame rate to at least 60. You should never ever want it to be below 60. And your maximum frame rate, this is with VSync disabled. If you start your game up and you're stuck at 60 FPS, chances are VSync is enabled. So quickly just disable it and it will switch to whichever frame rate we set here. 150 is good, but also 100 will work just fine. A higher frame rate equals a better response time. This shouldn't be the case, but it is, so keep that in mind. And upscaling percentage basically makes the game render itself at a lower resolution, but it doesn't actually adjust the resolution, so your heads up display and all of the GUI looks just like it would normally, but the game itself looks very low quality. I would never suggest putting it below 50%, it looks terrible, but if your computer just cannot handle the game, even on minimum settings, even with all of this optimized for a higher frame rate, then you can try dropping the upscaling percentage to something even lower, but keep in mind, things will be very difficult to see at that point, because it just looks terrible. So there you have it, there is my Smite config editor. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope the program does help you have a smoother experience within Smite, as the game isn't always the most streamlined of experiences at times. Please feel free to check out my channel, there is a link on screen or there is one in the description below. There are lots of giveaways active on my channel at the moment, and who knows you might even like the rest of my content. A big thank you to Dukesloth for uploading this video to his channel, I really do appreciate that, so thank you kindly for doing so, and thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.